The following broadcast is sponsored by friends and partners of Jesus House Story. God, we hearts and hands and voices, we want wondrous things as God, in whom this world rejoices, who form our mother's hands, as blessed on our way. Shout hallelujah. We are excited to be in the house of the Lord the first Sunday of the fifth month of 2017. Shout a powerful hallelujah. I want us to lift our hands to heaven and just thank God from the depth of our hearts. Thank Him for the privilege. Thank Him for the grace. Thank Him for the blessing of being in His house this day, the first Sunday of the fifth month, 2017. To Him be all the glory. To Him be all the praise. To Him be all the honor. To Him be all adoration. Maria Labasandiria, bless His holy name. Bless His holy name. Thanks, thanks, we give you thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed. Our souls have our rest. Give him glory. Give him praise. Give him honor. Give him adoration. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thanks, thanks. Oh, we give you thanks for all. So blessed, we are so blessed. Our soul, 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 our for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We are clapping for the most high, the one that have kept us from the beginning of this year. Let's bless his name. Clap your hands so you can be. Shout out to the Lord. Shout out to the Lord. Clap your hands so you can be. Shout out to the Lord with the voice of 
exaltado. Father, we give you glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped him. Amen. Choir, God bless you. Before you have your seats, please say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, do something new in my life. In this month of May, in the mighty name of Jesus, don't let me end this month the same way I started it. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, I believe you are praying that prayer for yourself. Pray that prayer, Lord, do something new in my life. This is a brand new month. I'm believing you for something new. I'm believing you for something new. I don't want to end this month the same way I started it. If you know that thing you are believing God for, why not mention it to the Lord? Let him know what you believe in him for. Father, you are the God of turnaround. Lord, you are the God of new beginning. You are the El Shaddai. You are the Almighty God. Our eyes are on you. Do something new in our lives. See to it, O Lord, that we will not remain the same. And begin with us in this place, this early hour of the day, O Lord, so that your name alone will be glorified. Thank you, Almighty God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you. You are the God from whom all blessings flow. Thank you for the blessing of life. Only the living can praise you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. We are in your sanctuary this first Sunday of the fifth month of 2017. We are not taking it for granted. Father, be glorified in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we have prayed, our heart desire is that you will do something in our life this month. Father, please honor us, honor your word in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, speak your word to us this afternoon Amen. and let your name alone be glorified. Amen. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Before you have your seat, look to your right, to your left, and welcome someone and say, Happy New Month. God bless you. You will rejoice and be glad in it. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. We quickly want to pray. Hallelujah. We quickly want to pray for the babies of May. So if the month of May is your birthday or your celebration of anniversaries, please rise on your feet as we pray birthdays and anniversary father in the mighty name of jesus we want to thank you lord king of glory for this your children standing this is their special month father we present them unto you we are thanking you on their behalf for what you have done in their lives thus far thank you king of glory for this many years that they have spent in the land of the living celebrating this their special month father accept our thanks on their behalf in the mighty name of jesus lord king of glory we know you have preserved them for the purpose let that purpose be fully established in their lives in the name of jesus we commit them unto your hands this new season this new month this new year father go before them in the name of jesus make their way straight in the name of jesus as the mountain surrounds the rubber surround them in the name of jesus a special gift for their celebration that no man can give father give to them in the name of jesus let this new year be their best year ever in all ramifications in the name of jesus father my god i pray whatever they lay their hands upon in this new year you will cause it to prosper in the name of jesus and for everything that they are believing you for as a gift of their celebration father package and put in their hands in the name of jesus thank you almighty god 
Blessed be your holy name. Father, we pray they will celebrate many, 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 many more years in health, in blessing, in rest on every side in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Congratulations. God bless you. We celebrate you and we celebrate with you. And we know that your celebration is just beginning in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. We are all welcome to the month of May. Our focus for this month is vision. And our scripture for the month is Genesis chapter 13, verse 14 to 16. Genesis chapter 13, verse 14 to 16. Vision. Genesis chapter 13, verse 14. And the Lord said to Abraham, after the Lord was separated from him, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, every hindrance to the vision that God has for you will be separated from you this month in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up now your eyes and look from the place where you are to the north, to the south, to the east, and to the west. For all the land which you see. I thought I would hear amen. Amen. To thee will I give it, and to your seed forever. The Lord is saying by that word, everything that your eyes can see, that your eyes can behold, that your heart will desire this month and beyond, your God will give to you in the name of Jesus. I will make your seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall your seed also be numbered. And so because no man can number the seed, the dust of the earth, the blessing of God that will come your way this month shall be innumerable, too much to count in the mighty name of Jesus. Before you recover from one another is coming, I see multiple celebration in your home and your family in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Vision for no limit. Our scripture focus for today is Genesis chapter 15 verse 1. Genesis chapter 15 verse 1. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am your shield and your exceeding great reward. When the, the word of the Lord, when did it come to Abraham in a vision? after these things after these things I don't know how January to date has been to you but the Lord is saying that is past now I'm about to do something after then because that was then and this is now after these things, somebody will testify from this month that from now something awesome began for you and your family in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and 19 says, Remember not the former things. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and 19. One of the things that affect our vision are the things that we bring to mind in our heart. You keep remembering how you tried and it did not work. That's an hindrance. You keep thinking about what happened this time last year. That was last year. Do not remember the former things. 
nor consider the things of old. Behold. The word behold means see. And vision means to see. Somebody say, I'm seeing well now. Somebody say, I'm seeing clearly now. Somebody say, I'm seeing very brightly now. I see a colorful future. I see a bright tomorrow. What is the word of the Lord saying you should see? He said, I will do a new thing. As you go about your business today, from today, this week, this month, see God bringing this word to pass. I will do a new thing. You know, some people are carrier of old things. They will remind you what has happened in the past. They will remind you what has happened before. They will remind you how you failed. They will remind you how you didn't get that thing. They will remind you all manner of old things. Tell them that's the story for the old. I have a word from the Lord. Somebody say, I have a word from the Lord. You know, these things like this, when we come to church, you know, when you go to a party, you live with party park. Am I right? When you come to church, leave the presence of God with a word. And I'm saying to someone here, leave with Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19. Don't just come to church without leaving with something. If there's something that God cannot look away from, it's his word. Hold on to that word. Speak the word. Declare the word. See the word. Write it. Put it where it becomes what is moving your life around. Hallelujah. Now it shall spring forth. Somebody say something nice is springing forth for me. Shall ye not know it? Which means when it happens, no one can pretend not to see it. What no one will be able to pretend not to see for good will happen in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, vision is like pregnancy. When someone is newly pregnant, you can cover it up. It can be for whatever reason you like, because I see no reason why you should cover it up. Praise the Lord. But can you cover it for long? God will do something awesome in your life. That even if you are among the conservative, you will not be able to hide it in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know if you heard that word. That's not a prayer. That's a declaration. That God will do something in your family. You know, some people, they like to conceal their testimony. I don't, I don't like, I like to make it anonymous. But God is saying, I'm setting that kind of order aside. Your testimony this month shall not be anonymous in the name of Jesus. People will be pointing like this. See that man that God blessed. See that woman that God blessed. See that family that God turned their lives around. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I will even make a road in the wilderness. Yeah. I don't know who is passing through a wilderness experience here. A whole day your phone does not ring because no one remembers you. That should be somebody here. Because I didn't come here with that. God is saying he's changing that. Amen. There are people that their so, phone is so ringing that they have time not to pick it. And there are people that let somebody even say hello there. Nobody is saying hello. That tide is turning for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That wilderness experience is coming to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. And rivers in the desert. Somebody say, Lord, do it. Lord, make rivers to comfort in my desert. Make it a prayer, your seated position. Let rivers spring forth for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let rivers spring forth for me. Make a way for me, O Lord, so that your name alone will be glorified. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Now, where we started from before we got into Isaiah 43 is Genesis chapter 15, verse 1. After these things, 
which are the things we saw in Isaiah chapter 43, 18 and 19, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. So if we have said that we believe God, that this is the month of vision, which means that the word of the Lord is going to come to us. And when they say the word of the Lord comes to a man, it's the same thing as saying that God visits the man. So number one, what are we to expect this month? This month, God will be paying us a visit. So if you are writing, please write it down. Number one is that God will be paying us a visit this month. I know that as our faces are different, so our desires and expectations are different. And so what that means is that God will be meeting each and every one of us at the point of our need. How many would like God to visit them this month? The Lord will visit you in the mighty name of Jesus. Job chapter 10 verse 12. Sir, the visitation of man is not the same. Or the visitation of God is not the same as that of a man. When God visits, you will know someone has paid you a visit. This month, God will pay you a visit. God pays men visit. God do visit men. This month, you will know what it means for God to visit you in the name of Jesus. Job said, you have granted me life and favor. And your care, King James Version says, and your visitation. Your care, your visitation had preserved my spirit. So when God visits a man, that man will experience life in a new way again. Did you see it there? You have granted me life. When God visits a man, that man will experience favor that you can only describe as divine. I'm going beyond just saying God is going to visit us this month. I'm mentioning the things that will happen when God visits. Praise the Lord. So when you take one, it's enough. You can take the rest later. Your visitation has preserved my spirit. Praise the Lord. God will preserve someone here by his visitation in the name of Jesus. Psalm 65 verse 9. Psalm 65 verse 9. Please, it's one thing for God to speak. It's another thing for man to believe. God is saying that I'm going to pay you a visit this month. You visit the earth and waters it. Someone refreshing is coming your way. And greatly enriched it. The river of God is full of water. You provide their grain. Somebody say provision. provision. When God visits, there will be provision. I don't know what needs to be provided for. From this month, you will enjoy divine provision in the name of Jesus. For so you have prepared it. There are certain things that God has prepared for you and your family. Vision means that God will now begin to open your eyes to them. And it happens when God visits a man. When God visits a family. Somebody say, I'm expecting God's visitation this month. Say it convincingly, I'm expecting God's visitation this month. In the mighty name of Jesus. Number two thing that will be happening from that Genesis chapter 15 verse 1 that we read 
says that this month the Lord will be revealing secrets to us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed. You know, vision means to unveil. So when we say it's the month of vision, is the month to experience certain things revealed to you. The things that you are not seeing before, suddenly you are seeing that. That's what it means, vision. Take, take for instance... Those of us that are using pair of glasses, the man can't read certain things at certain distance. Then when vision came, take the glass or pair of glasses to be vision, he can see. The material had not changed, the writing had not changed. It's vision that had been added. God will add vision to you this month. Secret things belong to, there are certain things God wants to show to you. But you could not see them before. But thank God you have made it to the month where you will see. Amen. I said you have made it to the month where you will see in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 and 10. First Corinthians chapter 2, 9 and 10. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither has he entered into the heart of man. The thing that the Lord has prepared. You saw that word prepared in Psalm chapter 65, verse 9 before. For them that love him, verse 10 said, But God has revealed them unto us. The month of vision is where God reveals things unto us. This month, God will reveal things to you. Amen. The secret of breakthrough for your family shall be revealed to you this month in the name of Jesus. Amen. The secret of prosperity shall be revealed to you this month in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lest I forget... I had in my spirit that I should say to someone here, don't be in a hurry to take that step. I don't know the step you want to take. But don't be in a hurry to take that step. I want to believe that the Lord King of Glory will help you and guide you aright in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, from Genesis chapter 15, verse 1. God will be renewing our vision and releasing new visions to us this month. I thought I would hear amen. God will be renewing our vision and releasing new visions to us this month. Amen. By the way, this is the week of open vision. Which means everywhere you turn, you will see. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You know, you don't need to be asleep to see. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You don't need to close your eyes to see. God will open your eyes. Amen. God will renew your vision. Amen. God will release to you and your family new vision in the name of Jesus. Amen. Joel chapter 2 verse 28 says, And it shall come to pass in the month of May 2017, that's me adding that, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see vision. Your young men shall see visions. Lord, renew my vision in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Lord, give me new vision this month in the mighty name of Jesus. In your seated position, I want you to cry unto the Lord. Father, pour your spirit as your word has said. Renew my vision. Give me new vision. Renew my vision. Give me new vision. Renew my vision. Give me this new vision this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Three things God will do. The path of God is set. The path of God is sure. The path of God is sorted. But the path of man must be in place. God has said what he wants to do this month. He's going to visit us. This month is going to reveal secrets to us. This month is going to renew our vision and give us new vision. But what do we need to do? If you stand under any preaching and they say you don't have to do anything, God has done everything or God will do everything. You are permitted to wear your heart and dust your feet and move on because that is a lie. There is always something to do so that God can do what he has said he will do. Number one thing we must do for the three things we have had just now to happen is that we must prepare. Somebody say prepare. prepare. You want God to visit you? Prepare. You want God to reveal secrets to you? Prepare. You want God to renew your vision and give you new vision? Prepare. Amos chapter 4 verse 12. Amos the book of Amos chapter 4 verse 12. Therefore, thus will the Lord do unto you, the children of God under the sound of my voice today. Because I will do this to you, the things that we have heard. What is your responsibility? Prepare to meet your God. Prepare to meet your God. God is set to visit you. God is set to renew your vision. God is set to give you new visions. God is set to reveal secrets to you. But you must prepare. Proverbs chapter 16, verses 1 and 2 says, The preparation of the heart is man's responsibility. That's a better scripture than the one I have. He said the preparations of the heart belong, belong to man. When they say something belongs to someone, it means it is the person's responsibility. I pray that the Lord will help us to prepare. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The most important preparation is the preparation of the heart. Prepare your heart. If you believe those things that the Lord has said he will do this month. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. We will not miss his visitation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One of the ways we prepare for God is that we clean up. We clean up ourselves. Because when God wants to visit us, sin can be an hindrance. So whatever it is that God does not like, we have to clear it out. When you are expecting a visitor, you clean up the house. Hallelujah. And that is why I sense that we need to rededicate our heart to the Lord. If indeed we want God to visit us. There's anyone in the, on the, under the sound of my voice, you, have, you are not a child of God already by you giving your heart to the Lord, you need to make that decision so that the Lord, when he's visiting this month, will not pass you by. And I know that the Lord will not pass you by in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. We'll come back to that point. Number two, be sensitive. What do I need to do to enjoy the visitation of God and other things we mentioned? Number one, be prepared. Number two, be sensitive. Be sensitive. Be sensitive. Revelation chapter 1 verse 10. John the beloved said, I was in the spirit on the last day and I heard. Anyone that have ever been visited by God, go and check. They were sensitive people. This is not the month to just, you know, 
live without being sensitive visions are best delivered in a quiet place reorganize yourself and your environment this month hallelujah the lord will visit you Amen. revelation chapter 4 1 to 2 is a scripture that will help you he said come up either and i will show you the things come up be sensitive and verse 2 says and immediately i was in the spirit did you see that god gave an invitation the man immediately reorganized himself so that what god wants to do can come to pass number three as we begin to round up be prayerful you want those three things that we've said to come to pass you need to be prayerful you need to spend quality time crying unto god mark chapter 13 verse 33 you know we have just said be sensitive but it says here take heed watch and pray for you know not when the time is you know not you know not you know not you know we said vision is about revealing so there are certain things that we don't know that god wants to reveal to us this month how will he reveal it watch and pray can we connect that scripture there are certain certain things in our lives will only be resolved when god reveal them to us he will reveal them without us doing what we need to do what do we need to do watch being sensitive pray acts chapter 10 is the story of a man that god revealed god gave a vision to a man called colinians if you study acts chapter 10 verses 1 to 4 but colinians in acts chapter 10 was on the altar of prayer it was while he was praying that the lord visited him that the lord gave him that vision that he revealed unto him do you see there about the night hour of the day he saw clearly in a vision he saw clearly in a vision but if you backtrack to verse 2 the last phrase they are said said he was praying to god always I've discovered that prayerful people are visionful people. You might not find that in a dictionary. I've discovered. If you see a man that is always saying, God showed this to me, God showed this to me, God showed this to me, check that man. It's a man of prayer. In the place of prayer is the place of vision. The place of prayer is the place of vision. The place of prayer is the place, place of vision. God wants to reveal things to us. But do we have time to camp around him? As you camp around him this month, he will reveal great and mighty things to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, what I've said thus far is that I have a very strong witness in my heart and in my spirit that the month of May 2017 is a very great month. Reposition yourself and don't let the greatness pass you and your family by Amen. god bless you please let's bow down our heads in our seated position i want to believe that the lord has spoken to someone here just thank him first of all for if there's anything that blessed you this afternoon bless him give him praise give him glory make a commitment to the word that you have heard it's not just in hearing the lord blessed our doing so let your commitment be very clear before the lord what are you going to do with the word that you have heard this afternoon is it going to be one of those words or is it going to be the word that you are going to run with as i said earlier i perceive that we need to clean up we need to clean up the hands of the lord it's not too short that he cannot heal that he cannot deliver but there are things in our lives 
that is withholding him from visiting us father i rededicate myself to you father king of glory i open up my heart to you if there's anything in my life that will not allow you to visit me this month i ask that the blood of your son jesus will cleanse it lord i'm ready for your visitation that's your prayer pray to the lord pray to the lord pray to the lord and while that prayer is going that prayer is a prayer of rededication for those that are already in the kingdom they have given their heart to the lord by accepting the lord jesus as their personal lord and savior but if there's anyone under the sound of my voice you have never said before lord jesus come into my heart i believe that you are the son of god i need you to and encourage you to consider that decision today so if there's anyone that is under the sound of my voice that want to say lord jesus i have heard what you want to do this month and i want to position myself for you i want you to do what you have said you will do this month in my life and therefore i want to do what i need to do by giving my life to you if there's any such person here please you need to indicate so that we can pray with you and we can share with you the things that will help you in the journey is there anyone here that wants to say lord jesus come into my heart i know that i need you i want to confess him as my lord and savior if there's anyone here please kindly raise your head in your hand above your head kindly raise your hand above your head if you are not ashamed of him he said in his word on the last day he will not be ashamed of you the lord has sent his word as i'm speaking now your your conscience is saying to you i need you need to make that decision maybe you used to be with the lord you have even made the decision in the past but you know that the relationship has been broken and you want to come back to the lord you also have the opportunity today if there's anyone under the sound of my voice before we bring this session to a close that wants to renew their work with god so that the lord can renew their vision all you have to do is to indicate and we'll pray together and that will be you in the kingdom of god anyone father lord we thank you for your word of comfort today we give you all the glory for what you are said to do in our lives lord we pray oh god king of glory that as you have spoken to us today you will help us to position ourselves for what you have ordained to do this month in our lives in the mighty name of jesus I decree and declare that the word of God have come to you today will find fulfillment in your life and your family in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. This message has been brought to you through the prayers and contributions of our faithful partners throughout the United Kingdom and the world. If you would like to support us, kindly visit our website on www.jesushousetory.org. God bless you.